So one of the questions that came out was, how did I grow in my role as a CEO? The first thing I will say, I'll start really basic, where there were a lot of words that started coming at me, I had no idea what the meanings were. So anytime that I came across a word in reading a book or just in discussion, or maybe even in a seminar where I was learning something new, a word would pop up and I would have to go look that up. And I'd add it to a vocabulary list and I'd get about 10 words per week and I would just really study those and apply them inside my normal conversations. That's still a practice I do today. So as that builds up, if I'm not using those words, I just push those words off until a later date and then they pop in and I start using those. Broadening your vocabulary really helps you as you start speaking and taking on more roles, which leads me into my next step. And that's really working yourself out of a role. So when you dive into a certain role, you master that role and you have to identify what does mastery really mean? Once you master each one of the roles, you can now delegate that off to someone else. That delegation, you now hand it off and you are accountable to it, right? There's only one person that is accountable. Many can be responsible. Once you're accountable, you can hand that accountability off and say, now you are accountable to that. And now they can have other people that are responsible. If you choose, you could keep that accountability yourself and have them responsible for that. Sooner or later, you do have to figure out exactly what you're going to be handing off and then what you're going to be keeping. The idea here that I used was I took all the things that I was good at and I handed those out. So now when people did have questions, they could come to me and I could answer those questions for them very easily and simply so that it was quick. Now, all the things that I needed to take on and challenge myself, I took on that challenge and really expanded what I know so that I could become a master of that new discipline or distinction. Thank you for listening. I hope you have a great week. Thanks for tuning in. And thanks again. Loving you always, Jim.